Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are here on the Las Vegas Strip right yes. now. Uh -huh. We are going to do a price-friendly video today. Yes. 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 And there's so many places, of course, off-strip that you can find that are very price-friendly, but not too many on-strip. So we're, we've kind of searched long and hard for this one, didn't yeah. you, baby? Yeah. But ironically, for breakfast and lunch, they are both can be found here at the Miracle Mile Mall, right yeah. next to Paris, mm -hmm. and it's at Planet Hollywood. Right there. It's the mall that you know everyone always sees when they drive by the strip. Yeah. So if you're on a budget, this is these, the place yeah, to go. These are my these some places you might want to consider. Yes, yes. Yeah. And our dinner is gonna be off strip. So That's only right. these two are gonna be on strip. Yeah, and in the same place. Yes. So let's go have some breakfast. First stop, Blondie's. Yes, it's right across from La Salsa Cantina. Everybody goes to La Salsa Cantina because everybody knows that you can get a really affordable breakfast there. Right. Let's try Blondie's though. I mean, theirs is it's just a teeny bit cheaper than La Salsa Cantina. It is. It's a $1 difference. It's a $1 difference and I believe, I'm not sure if they have a big selection. We'll see when we go sit down. How about Yeah, let's do it. Here I'm getting the Big Bloody Mary. Here it's a $2.99, but this is pretty cool if you're a beer drinker. It is $2 Bud Light Draft, and it gives you the time until 11 a.m. The Bloody Marys run from 7 to 9 a.m. in the morning, seven days a week, so every single day. Um, the only deal, other than the bottomless mimosas at 20 bucks, the only deal is really their basic breakfast, which they advertise $4.99 bacon, eggs, stuff like that. So we're gonna get that. Everything else, it's a little bit, it's still affordable, but not what we're looking for. But it's pretty good. Regular size Bloody Mary for $2.99. I know, I see, think I've seen videos on the other one where the 99 cent Bloody Mary, it's only like a little small cup, I believe. $2.99, regular yeah. size Bloody Mary. Full How size. Is it? Oh yeah, delicious. It's a little bit on the spicy side. They can taste that. You have any tomato juice in there, the alcohol. Oh yeah, this will do well. And there are coffees, bottomless coffees, sodas, and iced teas, right baby? Yeah, this is my coffee. Yep. I'm going unleaded. Yes, I got the over easy eggs with bacon. Again, this is $4.99. Good sized bacons. My eggs are perfectly cooked. My bacon, let's try these potatoes out. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Nice and crunchy on the outside. It's really soft and pillowy on the inside. Okay. You can see in there. Not bad. Go ahead. You know me and my break of my egg. Look at that. Yeah, they did a good job. They didn't overcook the uh, mm -hmm. yolk. Wow. This is delicious. This is good for $4.99. Not bad. Two strips of bacon. Good bacon. Nice salad. Regular bacon though. But for an affordable meal, this is this meal will fill you. For my breakfast, I got something a little bit different. I got scrambled eggs with sausage with the same breakfast potatoes. But look at the amount of scrambled eggs here. It looks definitely looks like there's more than two two yeah. eggs here. So I think they scrambled the whole bunch. This could be a three egg scramble right here. So let's test it out. Nice and fluffy. Sometimes you can get scrambled eggs overcooked, right? A little bit tough. These are not very moist. Great scramble. Let's try out the pork sausage. Great breakfast sausage. Of course, these are the same potatoes. I know you just raved about it, mm -hmm. so let's try it. Temperature, nice and hot mm -hmm. as well. Nice crispy on the outside. Soft inside, like you mentioned. With uh, some onions and some bell peppers. It's great. And look what they have on the table. They got some French Red Hot in case you want to kick it up a notch. So yeah, this is it. Good breakfast, great price. So for the Bloody Mary, which I thought this was, this was the size for the Bloody Mary. It is the size of the Bloody Mary, but for the $9.99 Bloody Mary. The $2.99 Bloody Mary, it comes in a glass just like this size. So when you come here and ask for that $2.99 Bloody Mary, make sure to say that, can I have the $2.99 Bloody Mary or can I have the $4.99 breakfast? So there's no confusion of which one you want. Yeah, but they did correct it with no problems at all. Oh yeah, uh, no, no problems at all, they corrected it for me. 
That was a good breakfast. Yeah, perfect breakfast. Um, perfect for what we need for this morning right. because we're going to have lunch today. So we didn't want anything that would completely fill us up. Right. So that was so, just perfect. Yeah, it was a excellent price. Yes. Again, that's Blondie's. That's where we had breakfast. Uh -huh. And right across the walkway is, is Cantina. Yeah, it's La Salsa. Yep. Right. So now we're gonna walk around. We're here a little bit early. We're gonna walk around and see the stores. I see that Houdini store, you know, every, the one that everybody walks in. I don't think it's here anymore. They cleared out all oh, their stuff, nope. baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the difference between La Salsa and Blondie's is La Salsa costs a dollar more. Yes. But you get a choice of ham as one of the proteins mm -hmm. and tortillas. It's the only yeah. difference. That's the only difference. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yep. So we're gonna go walk around. Sadly, we just did confirm it. Houdini's is out. This is their last disappearing act. They're gone. So this is gonna be our lunch spot, but we're here just walking around just to make sure we have everything in owner order. And they do have a breakfast special as well here. That's two eggs with a choice of protein for $5.99 and a stack of ham, or a stack of ham, stack of pancakes with a protein for $5.99 as well. They, we're gonna come back for the lunch $5.99, and it used to be five, but now it's $5.99 lunch specials. They told me to get here at 11.45 because that's when they start taking names for any of the seating and the bar here. You also have to check in with the host. It's not a first come first serve bar. They also see you at the bar too. And their drink specials, remember this place was two or three for 10, now it's three for 12 for their drink specials. And they still have dinner deals, $9.99. So here at Planet Hollywood, some of the cheapest, we're looking for the cheapest gambling one pool cost. We found one for 25 cents here for Kino. It's not bad, 25 cents to play. And you have to hit three numbers to get your money back. Right here. So yeah, it's the cheapest so far. We're gonna keep looking. And it's the cheapest on the strip. Yes, I found the cheapest most budget friendly slot machines. These are the old style. These are probably, I don't know, from the 90s era or so. But there's a group of four of them right here, and it's pretty close to that, that crystal ball here at Planet Hollywood. So here we go. I put a dollar in, I just tested it. We got 99 cents. You can play one line, all the way up to 20 lines, so you can see. How do we do it? But that's, uh, that's 20 cents a pull. But if you want to just do one cent, go for one line. And let's do it. Here we go. It just went down one penny. So if you okay. just want to kill some time and you have a dollar bill, you're good for a hundred pulls. What's also nice about these is you know how you win the max with max bet? These max bet machines are only two dollars max bet. Yes. Not like some of the newer ones which are like eighty. 80 cent or um, eight dollars, twelve dollars. This is only two dollars max bet. That's right, right. So, like, you know, have some time to kill right here. One simple, although I didn't win yet. But look, I still got 92 cents. So, these are those one cents machines right here. The creature from the Black Lagoon, Enchanted Unicorn, and then right on the other side is the one that I played. Fortune. Mm -hmm. Lunch service starts at 12. They start taking names at 11.45. That's what time it is right now. We put our names in. Look at the amount of people waiting. There's lots of people here waiting for lunch. Here's the menu that is $5.99. It used to be $5. Now they raised it 99 cents. Not too bad at all. They say the time's here, 11.30 to 5.00. But they said they didn't take names down now until 11.45 to be seated at 12. Yes. So it seems like they may, they maybe pushed it back for 30 minutes or so. But everything on this list is $5.99. Yeah, so, so we're kind of looking at the steak and some and I'm gonna tacos a, for me. I'm going to get a salad and I'm not sure what else I'm going to get. So we can see how everything is. and. Why not? Since the price is so inexpensive, you can make your own buffet here, right? You can get everything you want freshly made, yes. and it's, and it's going to be cheaper than That's a buffet. Right. And it includes the appetizers as well. It does. Yeah, so we're going to get a couple each. We are. All right, we are going to share everything here. What we got is, this is the salmon salad. 
five ounces of salmon, the lollipop wings in a glaze, and the calamari with some sort of marinara sauce. Okay, and okay. they're all $5.99. $5.99. And uh, we're going to check this out, and then Bill will go ahead and do his. Who's Bill? On my side of the table, I have the flank steak. They ask you what temperature, medium. Not the prettiest presentation, but it's going to be about the taste. This side, we have the grilled chicken tacos. They ask you if you want uh, french fries or rice and beans. So I got that little rice and beans. So there we go. We're going to try these out. Try this calamari out. Here's a little sauce that goes with it. Good. Chewy calamari. 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 I wish they're a little bit more hot though. They're kind of kind of on the warm side, but they're nice and they are crunchy. And they're good. These are the little lollipop wings. Let's see what kind of sauce this is. Kind of a, a cherry sauce. Not too sweet at all. Very grilled. It's a bit chewy. Good sized wings. Mm. I can't figure out the sauce, but good. Good $5.99 wings. The salad looks good. It has little slices of orange in here. Here's some nuts right here. Let's go ahead and get a piece of salmon. Yeah, I think they call this the island salmon the salad. The island salmon salad. Here's my piece of salmon with that salad dressing. Come on, salmon. There you go. The salmon is warm. The salad dressing is very light. Is it like a what, vinegar and oil or something like that? Sesame oil. It's a vinaigrette. The salad dressing has nuts. And it looks like everything is put together. So if you need if you're allergic to nuts or anything, you can definitely tell them to leave it off of the salad. It is a good size serving salad. Though. Yeah. The orange, nice good citrus. The salmon isn't dry at all. It has a, a good taste to it. And again, this is the same size salmon that you can order on the other like chef specials which gives you some veggies and mashed potatoes. It's a good salad. So, so far on my side, for $5.99 each place, each plate, I think it's worth it. Try this plain steak out. There we go. They do slice it up for you to make it easy. Oh, they kind of miss the temperature a little bit. It looks kind of uh, more on the medium well side. But let's try it in this sauce. Here we go. A little bit tough. Try some of this mashed potato with the veggies. Is that like zucchini and carrots? The mashed potatoes taste a little bit on the grainy side, like they're uh, just like a mix. You know the. Uh, Idaho, <laughs> kind of things like that. But yeah, the steak is a little bit tough. The red wine sauce is very light. Mashed potatoes, very soft and grainy. But the vegetables on top taste good. Grilled chicken tacos. This is some crema and a little bit of um. It's, it's not really seasoned as like taco sauce or anything like that. A yeah, very light kind of salsa. Let me just pour a little bit on here. There we go. And a little bit of crema. There we go. So these are like smaller tacos in size, but it's uh, kind of thick. A little bit of guacamole in it, and uh, pico de gallo, a little bit of cheese. 
and my guacamole is kind of sliding off. So I'll take a bite from this thing. The shell is kind of breaking apart, but you can see that they do put a lot of chicken for this size taco in here, and it's actually flavored really well. This is actually pretty good. I wish they put double tortillas so it doesn't fall apart as much, but as far as the flavor is concerned in this taco, it's good. I like it. This is better than the steak. Okay, a little wrap up of Ocean One. Mm -hmm. What'd you so, think, babe? I thought, I thought the entrees, especially his entree, my salad was perfect for mm. me. Um, his entree, uh, the flank steak, it was too big to be an appetizer, but too small to be an entree. That's yeah. what I was saying. It won't fill you up. Kind of like in between. Yeah. But if you're a light eater, uh, each It'd plate, be yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we want to try just a variety of things just to see how it is. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is a good uh, budget conscious place yes and it, it's a good alternative instead of fast food yes so uh table service actual meals it's not a bad deal the at all. service was impeccable yes the service is very good great service we yeah. had a great server yes yeah uh the 40 i wouldn't wait more than maybe 20 minutes or so yeah 20 30 and minutes this is a great place if you want to fill your belly or you just have a bunch of people who who don't you know you don't want to go and tackle a buffet this is a perfect place. Especially if you're bringing a big family. Yes. Then, yeah, definitely worth it. But as you can see, it is packed here and it is also midweek. It is. So, yeah, it's a very popular place. Yeah, so, but it seems like the wait is only about 15, 20 minutes right now. Well, yeah. So, it's not too, too bad right not now. Not too bad, yeah. So, now we're going to kind of rest a little bit. Yes. And uh, get ready for our last dinner over here. Keeping up with the uh, budget conscious or price friendly theme, yes. here at the Bellagio, the conservatory is free. It's free! Yes. Let's go walk around, babe. Yeah, and, you know, there's always a lot of people here, but early in the morning time, there's nobody, nobody here. here. And it is 24 hours. It is. So you can come bebop here anytime you want. Yeah, it was, yeah, it's, uh, I know we did it on other videos, but we're going to take a quick once around, huh, babe? Yeah, a quick one. Alrighty. about the exhibit in here is all of these flowers are real. Yes. Nothing Other than those monkeys hanging from the tree, that's a monkey, but the flowers are real. I don't know, they look pretty real to me. Yeah, it does very floral here though, yes. it smells very floral. Very quick tour, conservatory. We did. Always fun to walk through. Mm -hmm. And they do change the, uh, the theme like every few months, uh, right? Yeah, they have like four different themes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the next one should be good. It's like yeah. fall. Yeah, it's the, the fall one. Oh, mm -hmm. Look at that, babe. Hashtag zebra, but. Yeah, this is how we end our visit at the conservatory. We've arrived at our dinner location. Yes. South Point. Now we're at, back at the Garden but We visited here maybe about a year or two ago, maybe? Yeah, it's been a maybe. couple years, mm -hmm. right. You know, there are some uh, cheaper buffets like Circus Circus yes. or the Luxor, MGM, yes. right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's better to pay just a little bit more for mm -hmm. a lot better quality. Yes. And that's what we remember. Yes, and we, so we've been here before, so we remember the food was pretty good for the price of it. Uh, we've heard so many kind of negative reviews for the Luxor and Circus Circus. We kind of went a little bit off this trip and then um, tried this one back here. That's right. Um, so they open at 4 p.m. It's about, what, 3 o'clock right yeah. now? Mm -hmm. So we'll play around and just uh, uh, wait. That's what we do. Yeah. This is our dinner tonight right here. Prime rib dinner featuring peel and eat shrimp for, because I have a club card, $23.95. $23.95. Yeah. Otherwise, it's, uh, what, $26.95, right? Well, $3 more, not too bad. Yep. We just got sat at 3.15. We were wondering, there was a line, and so I was like, maybe it's the line for dinner. So we decided to hop in line, found out that they're still serving for lunch, but they'll be switching over for dinner at around 3.30, 3.45. So since they never close, if you, we came right in the cusp of it, so we got the lunch price, but we're gonna get the dinner menu. Yeah, it's, a, it's $8 cheaper. $8 cheaper, that's $15.95 with the player's club card. Yeah, versus a 23, right? Yeah, with 95. the player's club card, yes. Yeah, so that's a good deal, that's wow. that's a pro tip. That's a pro tip, that's why everybody was lining up, like right at the end of the lunch buffet. Right. 
So they already have out the peel and eat shrimp. It's about 3.30. Yeah, almost 3.40 right now. They have uh, the peel and eat shrimp and the uh, menudo. You know me, I'm, I like my menudo. The bunch of onions in it. Try this soup. It tastes very authentic. So it's pretty good. A lot of onions. I like a lot of onions. And then the peel and eat shrimp. Small. Yeah, Easy peel. peel. It's available in a couple sections. Yeah, it's in two sections. One right next to the soup. And what's interesting right here is they have like five, six different types of soup. Good. That's satisfying. It's not the, the biggest shrimp, but they're cold. And um, they're good. Well, I'm going to wait for the prime rib. I decided to attack the Italian section. This is the pizza squares that they had just brought out when I when I filmed the line. And here's their meatball. And this is their chicken parmesan. And it looked a little bit dry, but the lady in front of me, right next to her was the build your own pasta. And that's where she got a little scoop of the fresh marinara and put it right on top. So I said, hey, that looked like the pro move, so I got to copy that. So here it is. So let's try it out. The uh, chicken parmesan. Just cutting through it, cuts in very nice. Looks moist. It's all about the taste though. Here we go. That's good. Why is it good? Because the edges right here, it is still crispy. I love it when the, the deep fried batter is still crispy. The chicken, nice and moist, as I thought. And putting that fresh marinara right on top makes a big difference. It just makes everything lively with that fresh marinara. Yeah. I was so tempted to get some garlic bread, which is right next to it, but I know that's a filler. So I'm just having this chicken parmesan by itself. That's a good one. Pepperoni pizza squares. This one has a lot of pepperoni on it. And the carriage looks good. A little bit mm, medium thickness and crust. Here we go. It's okay to good. It is a little bit doughy. By that I mean there's a lot of bread crust to taste. Cheese is good. Pepperoni is very thin, but good pepperoni flavor. Good buffet pizza. It is a good buffet pizza. You know me, I have to try the pizza at all the buffets and see how they all rate, right? So this one, I label it as good but it came out nice and fresh. I'm not sure how the other slices would be because it looked like they've been out for a little bit. But as far as waiting until they put something out and be the first one to try it, it's good. Here it is, the meatball. You know me, I'm a fan of meatballs, so let's see. Let's try this out. It looks very beefy. I don't think there's a mixture of like pork. I think these are just beef meatballs. It's a good tasting meatball. The only thing that's missing is some spaghetti. If I had some spaghetti and put some of the marinara sauce on it with a couple of these meatballs, that'd be a great spaghetti meatballs. But it's good, good meatball. So now they're carving the prime rib, right, babe? Yeah, they're carving it. You got your piece, babe, yep. and it's right there. Oh yeah, prime rib. They serve it right about four o'clock on the dot. Here we go. You cannot request really any temperature of the meat. The guy kind of just slices and gives it to you. Luckily, this is like the way I would want it. So let's try it out. We did put uh, some au jus on it. Prime rib at the South Point. That was very good. Pretty tasty, huh? Mm -hmm. A little mashed potato. A lot better than what we had the Ocean One, mashed potatoes. The prime rib, it is not that salty at all. It's seasoned well. Of course, we put the au jus on it. And this is our favorite section of the prime rib, the, uh, the cap section. So let me try the regular section right here. The eye of the prime rib, as they say. Here we go. 
Just as tender. I'll be straight up. We've had some of the bargain prime ribs here in Las Vegas, like the $9.99 prime rib, even the, the prime rib at the cow, which, which we like. But this blows those away. Wow. This is actually very good prime rib that if it was a little bit thicker, I would not <laughs> expect anything less quality served at like a prime rib restaurant or a steakhouse. It, it's that good, really. Wow, honestly. really? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. This is it. Prime rib here is on point here at the South Point. We'll get your opinion on yeah. this prime rib. First, I'm gonna try this cap portion yeah, of maybe, it. Maybe I talked it up too much, I don't know. Let's so try we'll this see. out, yeah. and I'll cut this piece for my next portion of it. Alrighty, it's been soaking in this au jus yes. already. Let's go ahead, let's try this piece out. That's a good prime rib. It's so flavorful. Not salty at all, again. And let's try the non-rib cap portion of it. Just as tender. The difference between the rib cap portion and the non-rib cap portion is that rib cap portion has a little bit extra fat in there. And so when you bite it, it's the, the natural juices just pretty much gush in your mouth as opposed to this one has a bit more chew but just as delicious. Yeah, a little bit leaner on, on the eye part. Right, right. So depending upon what type of experience you want, are you a rib cap person or are you an eye person? Right. So but this you is know, uh, actually... We're part of the rib cap crew, We're right? the rib cap crew. So actually this, the way it's cut, because it's so thin, it's really nice. It's a really good chew to it, and it's not one of those prime ribs that you're just chewing and chewing and chewing because you're just breaking it down. This is so thin. One bite, and it's already starting to break down. Again, you can see in the rib cap portion, you can see the fat that's intermingled with the meat. I think this uh, prime rib will stand up to some of the restaurants, some and of the steakhouses. Yeah. Now portion there, that juice just coats your mouth and it really stays very well in that meat. This is actually a really good prime rib. I probably would prefer this prime rib at this price more than some of the ones I've gotten in the restaurant. Tough words, but it's true. I have to agree. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, we might go back and get another prime rib. Mm -hmm. All right, I believe they sell all gel I mean, they sell. They offer all gelato here. So this one is the lemon and lemon sorbet and spumoni, and this one is the cappuccino and the peanut butter. So I'm gonna try this spumoni right here. You can see there's nuts in the spumoni. Most likely pistachio. That's a good spumoni. And they have the lemon sorbet on top. Mm. Nice and lemony. Oh. That's it. Even because of the spumoni is kind of sweet. A little bit on the tart side. It's delicious. Very refreshing. This side, I have the cappuccino, or they call it cappuccino. Cappuccino. Uh, great coffee flavor and the peanut butter. That is really good. Wow. That peanut butter one. It tastes like that peanut one. Peanut butter one tastes like a a cold butterfinger. I love butterfinger. That's exactly what that tastes like. Wow, these are delicious gelatos. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try that peanut yeah. butter because I'm a fan of peanut butter cookies and yeah. stuff, so yeah. This is the 5.30 crowd. Good thing we came in early. Yeah, the uh, register is yeah. underneath the buffet sign, but here's the line. Yeah, like again, this is during the week. It is, and good thing we're old and like to eat early. Yes. 
Uh, be, be sure to pay attention to our pro tip. Oh, yeah. 330, 345. Yes. The garden buffet. What do you think? Well, that man? was really good. Really good. Yeah. If they had like the Hawaiian food that we get at Main Street here, this would be our go to buffet. Yes. Yeah, it's I agree. excellent. Mm -hmm. I it's agree. very good. And you know what? For the price that we paid, the pro tip $15.95 a person, yeah. mm -hmm. for all you can have prime rib plus shrimp, that alone is worth it. Yes. And we are early eaters, and that's why we were able to jump on this deal because we didn't, the, again, the, the dinner didn't open until 4 o'clock, but for some people, that's really early. Right. So for us, we jumped on, we didn't know about the deal until we showed up. We were wondering, I was wondering why the line was so long at about 3.15, 3.30 or so. It's because they don't, they're open continuously. They don't close. Right. And so people who got in at 3.15, 3.30 pay the lunch price, but then at 4 o'clock got the dinner menu. Even at the dinner price of yeah. $24.95? Yeah. The all-you-can-eat primary chip? $23.95, I think. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's still, it's still it's hard to beat. It's worth it. It's still worth hard it. To mm -hmm. In fact, I challenge anyone to find a cheaper all-you-can-eat prime rib cheaper than $15.95. Uh, and this Good is luck and with Vegas. this and with this quality, the prime rib was excellent. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just having that, some potatoes and vegetables, that's yeah. your prime rib dinner and you mm -hmm. keep going back. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's have gonna wrap up mm -hmm. our price friendly episode. That was a lot of fun. It was. That was a lot of fun. It was. Yeah. We had everything good from uh, good breakfast at Blondie's. Right? Shout out to uh, Ocean One. Ocean One mm -hmm. and uh, wrapping things up here at the Garden Buffet. Yes. Yeah, is there any shout outs? I do. Uh, Steven, happy birthday. Stephanie and Aliyah, happy birthday. Tan, thank you so much for saying hi. We yes. saw him um, at the Miracle Mile. That's right. And uh, Jane, thank you so much for saying hi. We saw you at the Mira Mile, Miracle Mile. And for everyone that said hi to us here at South Point, we went to uh, Outdoor World or our Bass Pro Shop. Mm -hmm. Thank you for everybody to saying hi there. Uh, Everybody who again comes by my work, thank you so much for saying hi. We've been seeing people here and there. That's right, oh, baby. Yeah, all yeah. over the place. And like you mentioned, a couple of people here at the buffet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, anything else? Oh, and um, even if you don't subscribe, be sure just to watch the video. Sure. You don't have to subscribe to watch it, right? I know we have Google. a lot of ghosters. We have a lot of Google who ghosters just to watch uh, the video. That's okay. Which is man. fine. That's just watch fine. the video. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and we do have a new design in the merch shop. If you we haven't do. got a mm -hmm. chance, stop by there and check it out. Yep. Some cool stuff. You know going it. On. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to wrap things up from here from Las Vegas. We're heading back home tomorrow. Yes, we Next are. week, I think we're going to stay local, so look forward to some local vlogs. Mm -hmm. So until then, we'll catch you guys in the next one.